Did you see this story about Built Bar? Yeah, I shared it out on Twitter. So, Built Bar has decided. This is a new name image likeness situation, which, by the way, we were going to talk about DJ Uyangalele and his deal with uh, Dr. Pepper, but that is not nearly as interesting as this. Built Bar is going to pay every walk-on, like the scholarship for every walk-on that goes to BYU. And my first response to it was, that's great. This is wonderful. And if you look at the the cost of a scholarship, the cost of attendance to go to BYU, it is not that expensive. Oh. Like yeah. It's no, it's, it's not it's not crazy. It's, it's not, not crazy. crazy. The church the church does offset a lot of that. Yes. So this whole thing, I was I was happy about it. I felt great. This is such a good story for those walk-ons. This is wonderful. Until I started realizing it is for every walk on that goes to school there. And you start kind of thinking through the process of, okay, I understand some of these bigger schools, some of these P5 schools, some of these uh, bigger FBS schools, which BYU is one. They take preferred walk ons. And preferred walk ons are the guys that can afford to go there that would normally have gotten a scholarship to a lower level spot, right? This is to help build depth. These are, de- they're not starting guys. They are depth guys, which helps out a, a football program big time. What this does basically is offers more scholarships to depth guys. Like the, everybody all, you, has. You now have unlimited amounts of scholarships. Yes, it's an unlimited amount of scholarships. You have an 85 man roster, and the way that this was done, I <laughs> I don't know what the what the benefit is for Built Bar. I think that this this first wave. Like I saw, they they started their Twitter account very recently, had like no followers, and today they're up to like 2,700 Twitter followers. The first response is going to be worth a ton. But, because I'd never heard of Built Bar until today. I don't know that anybody else had either. But doing this initially is going to be great for the brand. I don't know what value they get from this going forward, other than the fact that the CEO is a BYU fan, and now... He is providing a way for BYU to just stockpile. I, I would like to see how much this guy's donated in the past. Yeah, yeah, and 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 not hang on, not the check written to BYU, by the way, because that's not how boosters get paid. That's not that's not how players get paid. Okay. Yeah. How many how many McDonald's bags has this guy been responsible for dropping? Because this might not be any different than that. This might be actually a lot cheaper than that, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, you might not be wrong. And and, and on now, these kids are going to have to sign a contract. Like they're not just getting college for free. They're getting a con. They're employers of this place. They're gonna they're gonna be asked to have a social media presence. They're gonna ask to advertise for them and stuff of that nature. They're gonna get value out of that. You can get work out of these people for that. Yeah, yeah. I I just wonder it, now that people see that this is an option. I think everybody it, knew this was an option to begin with, Gary. I think I think you. The give Miami people... gyms are doing this for a hundred percent of the Miami football players. Yeah, but that's all scholarship just, players. No, no, they're doing it for all of the football players, not all the scholarship players. Yeah, but it, it well. So if they're doing it for all of the players, yeah, but all the play, but they're only they're giving them like five hundred bucks a month. Yes, they're not giving them. They're not paying for college, quote unquote. But if you get enough endorsement deals, then you paid for college. Yeah. I this guy's just given all of these 36 individuals enough to pay for college as their deal. That's their contract. But it's but it's going forward, right? Like this is a, a long term thing. I I thought I read. I would assume I would assume he's equating it to a college scholarship for these 36 people. I don't know if the walk ons next year are going to get it or not. We'll have to wait yeah, and see. That that would that would change things quite a bit because if this happens every year, then that becomes a a massive massive advantage but but what you don't understand is is there's no telling how much money these guys have been given already in in recruiting money okay because you and i know how the sausage has been made yeah but do do we think walk-ons are making like are they walk-ons or not but if you're if now i no longer have to pay the quarterback the twenty thousand dollars that i was kicking in for the quarterback and the and the star running back and the star offensive tackle and the star defensive players I no longer have to send my McDonald's bags to them because they can get legit contracts and they're going to make seven figures or six figures or, you know, five figures pretty easily. 
I, then I'm now going to take my money and where can I make the team better? I'm going to give it to the guys that, that are not getting money. that are not getting scholarships. And that adds, that adds the depth. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see uh, Ross Dellinger tweeted it earlier about the split for the NIO money? You know, we had talked about, uh, here it is, the NIO market share uh, from transactions on open doors for the month of July. And football is 79% of all NIL deals. Men's yeah. basketball is 96 So go ahead and rack that up as 90% of all the deals. And, and we knew it was going to be like this. But that's, did anybody think it was going to be anything other than that? Well, it, it, listen to the next one, though. Women's volleyball. Yeah, I was about to say, right I guarantee you, it's either women's volleyball or gymnastics, and it's these girls that are gorgeous and, and have massive Instagram followers. Gymnastics didn't even make the list. So women's oh, volleyball think, is 5.5%. It, here's men's lacrosse at 1.3%. Men's golf is 0.8, softball is 0.8, women's track and field, 0.5, wrestling, 0.4, women's tennis, 0.3, women's golf, 0.2. All other sports combined make up 1.6%. So, but you're talking about 1% of all this stuff. I'm I'm going to bet lacrosse, golf. I'm going to bet most of these. You're talking about sports that need equipment. And I'm going to bet these are just companies that are just going to give them equipment. Like these yeah. kids aren't getting money unless they're really, really good. I'm going to bet most of these kids aren't getting a nickel, but TaylorMade is going to give you some irons. Yeah, that, and I'm going to make would you make sign a contract, and now you're going to be a sponsor for TaylorMade, but you're not going to have to pay for new clubs. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Lacrosse, you, you got a shitload of equipment for lacrosse, and, and we're going to provide all the equipment, whoever makes that, and, and you're going to be a spokesman for us. Like, like I'm going to bet we're going to see a lot of deals that are like that. Any, any sport that requires a bunch of equipment. We're gonna see a bunch of that, and I'm I'm totally okay with that. Like I, well, yeah, no, I'm totally I mean, okay with everything. Guys, but, listen, it's better that right now they were buying their own lacrosse gear. They because I guarantee you the schools weren't paying for it. All right, yeah. they were buying their own golf gloves because I 100 percent know that the schools weren't paying for that. So, yeah. so now you're not having to pay. You know, and if you're good at golf and you're trying to play competitive golf, you're not paying fifteen hundred bucks for a nice set of clubs. Yeah, that's a lot of yeah. damn money. No, you're right. You were right. Bar didn't cost fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> Jesus. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com. And if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.